I'm doing the thrifting challenge for Nicole is hosting at Nesting Haven. It sounded like such a fun project and I do a lot of this stuff anyway. So this is my item. I thrifted this today at Deseret. It was five dollars and it's a fondue thing from uh, it was originally from Bed Bath & Beyond. Five bucks. This is my base item. <clears throat> I'm I'm crazy for this stuff here. This is Catherine Homeware and it's enamel from the 70s, 70s, 80s, 6, I don't know, 70s, early 70s, I guess. You know, and there are a lot of these all different colors, but it's enamel and then this design is on here. So I take a lot of my items and do matching pieces for my display. This one's real. This is my nicest, nicest one. So I'm gonna take this fondue pot, I'll show you. And I'll show you, I'll try to do a DIY and show you. I cut the stencils, it needs cleaning. I cut the stencils with my silhouette machine and put them on there. And then I stencil the paint on with some Americana acrylic enamel paint and I bake it in the oven and it sets it. It stays on pretty well. I'll try to show you the process as I go through it, but this is pretty good. It's, this is just the Bunsen burner thing for the heat source. And here's the base. It's got a nice mid-century look to it. Okay, the forks weren't in there, but I can always get forks. But I thought it would look kind of nice next to this. And so my next, it's kind of dirty, so I'll wash this up. And then I'll show you how I cut the stencils. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got this fondue pot all <clears throat> washed and dried and ready to go. I have the silhouette machine set up with uh, adhesive back like contact paper to make my stencil. And I have this all set up to cut my stencil right here. See, there it is. And I'll just click. Let's see if I can get it over here. There. Send. And it'll start cutting. Up here. <clears throat> and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, it's all printed. I don't know if you can see that. It's white on white. But now I just weed out these positive bits. It's kind of hard to do. <laughs> there we go. And I got a sheet of... It's really hard to see, but I'll be back in a second. Okay, here they are all weeded out. You see, it's just contact paper right here. And I'm going to take them and stick them on here. And then we'll be ready to paint them on there. So I will be right back. Okay, I got the stencil all on here. It's all the way around. And I've got, this is my paint that I use. This is for glass and this is in enamel porcelain enamel on you know metal and you set it see right there you set it in the oven so and there's my brush so I'll be right back okay here it is all painted up all the way around stenciled on there I'm gonna dry it and peel it off okay here it is all dried and I took the stencil off and it's, it just comes right off, easy peasy. And it's, it goes all the way around. I don't put it on too heavy because this is a slick surface and this paint <clears throat> could tend to peel up if you do that. So all I have to do now is cure it in the oven 30 minutes at 350 and I'm ready to go. See you in a minute. Okay, here it is all done and baked. See, it sort of flattens out after you bake it. And it's just, you know... That is, that's it. So that wasn't too bad. So I, but I need some forks. So this one's all done. I was, so I'm going to show you some of the other ones I've done. This was a <clears throat> thrift store light box 
Halloween thing. It was dark. Home day. And I just cut out this motif with my silhouette and put it on some vellum. And I have a little light in there. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah. Just a light. Just a light. Light. And then I'll show you this shelf. This one's real. That one I did. It's, that one's one of mine. It's just a plate from like Deseret for 50 cents. Plastic, right? Yeah, plastic. This is this TV Mr. Retro's made for me, and I just put that motif on. This is a, yeah, this is a fake. This is a just a plain enamel bowl that I found, and I put this on. Oh, and the one in the background is a stainless steel platter that I did the motif Good. on. And that's a real one. This one back here I did was just a plastic tray from Deseret. This is a bowl that I got at Salvation Army. I did that one. Down here is an enamel coffee pot that I did from Value Village. This is just a canister I found. I don't remember where. And then it didn't have a lid, so I got a pot lid. Um, Mr. Retro's painted it for me so it matches. And the other side here. I did this bowl. It's just a plastic bowl. Got that one done. And that's real. That was a real one. And in my glass. That one back there is a real one. This one I did. It's just a melamine bowl. I got a Deseret, probably 75 cents. And these two are real. Right here. So that's what, and now I'm going to show you my starburst. Oh, just a sec. These guys I did too, or this one. This was a, just a porcelain ring holder, an earring holder, but I painted him pink. I wanted him to match this old, uh, I don't know what brand this is. It's like a, a Nasco little pink elephant. So I think they're cute on the bar. Or those. And then the, this one was a bowl, uh, dish I got at, I don't know, Deseret somewhere. I made this stencil with the silhouette. It's the Starburst. It'll pause it for a sec. Okay, here's this platter I did. It's just you know, two stencils for these. It's just a, who the heck is that? I don't know. Don't know. And then this is the this is what I based it on the original Franciscan starburst that I have. And then I did this. It's just a little covered dish thing. So Umbra, I think it's for coffee. I think that's a coffee company. Anyway, this is just a thrifted thing. And this is what got baked on paint. And then this one is like an old Bauer plate, and I just put those on there. From Nesting Haven for hosting this really fun trash to treasure thrifting upcycling project. I can't wait to see what everybody else does. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.